social, economic and cultural equity. That concludes uh, questions to ministers. We come to questions to members, and the first is in the name of Rhea Bond. So, point, point of, order, of order, the Honourable Jerry Brown. Uh, Mr Speaker, it is uh, uh, the right of members to ask questions to other members who are responsible for bills, but those questions are more tightly contained uh, by Speaker's rulings, uh, but also very much uh, contained, uh, constrained by the um, uh, standing orders. Mr. Speaker, um, when, a, when a question uh, is put, it has to deal specifically with matters that relate to the House. The first question, sir, does not necessarily or could not possibly uh, relate to the House because the question on the bill at this point has not been put to the House. Uh, Mr Speaker, if you go through the rest of these questions, there are many occasions where they uh, fall short of standing orders. But I would particularly suggest, sir, that uh, the question number five is a very deliberate breach of standing order 380C. Mr Speaker, uh, I think while well, we would uh, not at all want to impede people asking questions of someone who is responsible for a bill, uh, we would like to see that adherence to standing orders. The other point I would make, sir, is it's somewhat ironic that we're unlikely to get to this bill today uh, because of the time we're going to spend on members' questions. Uh, I'll speak to the point of order. Richard Prosser. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Uh, with regards to the uh, Leader of the House's first point uh, about the um, uh, indications of a better question, uh, in fact, the bill has been through um, a certain number of stages, and it's about indications of support, not uh, votes in the House. Um, the other point about uh, question number five, Mr Speaker, and the reference that I presume the, uh, the member is referring to, uh, calling it communist, in inverted commas, um, and referencing uh, standing order 380C, discreditable references to the House or any member of parliament or any offence or unparliamentary expression, uh, whereas many people might disagree um, with the, the notion of communism, Mr Speaker, uh, it is actually a valid um, political viewpoint. And the last, the last part of his point of order wasn't really a point of order, but um, I rule that the a question to, I was just quoting um, the Speaker's rulings, the question to a member must relate to business before the House, of which he or she has charged. There is no requirement that a motion has been moved in respect of the business before the question may be, uh, uh, questions may be asked about it. And uh, the question asks for an opinion or a policy uh, in respect of a bill. Um, that's a matter for the MP which uh, they are in charge of. So we'll go to Speaker? point of order, the Honourable that, Jerry Brown. That's an interesting ruling, but there's also a standing order uh, that makes it quite clear that uh, you cannot preempt, uh, or um, in fact, you, have, you cannot preempt a decision of the House. So a question that asks for what support is there for the bill in the context of the question being allowed in the House clearly invites the member to preempt the, the business of the House. That is a breach of standing orders, sir. For the, uh, speaking to the point of order, Chris Hipkins. Uh, Mr Speaker, the standing order that the uh, Minister refers to extends to all business before the House and not specifically questions to members. If the Minister wants that question to be the standard for question time, that would also preclude government members from asking patsy questions about the likely decisions of the House with regard to government bills. OK, members, uh, in respect of the... Well, the Honourable Jerry Brownlee. It's completely unreasonable for you to be asked to rule on that, sir, because the government does not, does not ask itself questions about bills. It asks itself questions about policy, and that's the point of having a question time. This, of course, is a situation where a member is being asked to preempt the House decision uh, by trying to coerce a degree of support from uh, his, his own scant knowledge of how well, the vote is likely to go. Thank you. I appreciate I appreciate the advice from all sides of the House. And speaking of preemption, this exact um, word content has been asked on a number of other occasions with respect to members' uh, bills, questions to members. So um, the question is in order, and I will call on Rhea Bond to ask it. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, my